this republic day we celebrate two decades of india standing tall as an it services giant but the world is changing and staying at the top demands more it's no longer just about what we have built but how we evolve how we survive a new wave of skilled and driven indian talent is the need of the hour and this isn't just about adapting to change it's about leading it and that is where india's journey begins with a 400 billion dollar market cap the indian it services industry is filled with a large workforce if you want access to what will become a 7 trillion dollar economy and what will become a 4.5 trillion dollar consumer market private consumption but there's a problem it's only 2% of the global tech value created that's about 400 billion dollars of tech value sitting in india right now and even more that can be created which is untapped so i think the answer is pretty simple really with the direction the world is heading it's all about the quality of time that's how we put india years ahead on the map here is the harsh truth if india needs to keep its crown as an it services giant it needs to defend itself see globally the market cap of all tech companies combined is about 30 trillion dollars and out of that less than 2% comes from indian companies and by 2030 india is expected to reach 1 trillion usd that's just not fast enough by then india will be left behind in the race to the next tech revolution but suddenly in the last 3 4 years we see that ai is inevitable right so if you don't have ai in your tech stack you are going to lose the race but here's the problem ai for a lot of us is still that mystic unfamiliar territory and now it's built into the way we work and to thrive and not just survive india needs to adapt if we want indians if we want the indian talent to understand ai fast we need to learn from the people who have been there done that the futurist leadership council solves for the industry and academia lag we are poised in india today to build for the world we need skilled educated you know hard working workforce building for the world we can provide students with those real world examples to solve for you are as good as the team you build and this gives us a chance to build the next set of team members the next set of leaders we're going to sit here and talk to you and for the first time ever we are bringing deep industry focused learning to enable students to solve real world problems using ai if you look at any large company that is very very profitable or valuable think of what those founders did jeff bezos probably asked a very different question which made amazon elon musk probably is asking many many different questions and the answer is in front of us given that you now have a technology what can i do with it I think that's the question worth asking. Even if someone is not changing the jobs, the jobs are changing on them. So the skills that are needed to perform the same job that was be being performed 5 years ago has changed by about 25%. Gone are the times when students can boast about their AI knowledge. Now it has become a bread and butter of their employability. You know one of the biggest mistakes that any professional would make is by ignoring AI, you know, and thinking that AI is not going to disrupt their job. in the next few years so people have an opportunity to kind of create their own niche if you want to be part of it then i think yes right now is the right time whatever you do ai ml ops devops as long as your core is strong and you are having a very solid grip on your technology adding it and learning an ai algorithm should not be a, a huge challenge i do think that uh, india's uh, century is ahead of us we have to start with the why as, as simon shinick says and then the ai will come to support us in achieving our why's and as a country as a human being as a company as a team here is the cold truth India needs to defend its status as the IT services giant so we are stepping into carry this torch